the tumor is not in a life-threatening area, like the head and neck, or it's not pushing on some critical structures, then uh, the physician, the recommendation is for the physician to watch the tumor and start um, doing scans every three to six months. Usually these tumors are slow growing, but they can have a rapidly growing phase. And then if, if the tumor is symptomatic, causing a lot of pain and dysfunction, now the recommendation is to maybe try systemic therapy instead of going straight to surgery, especially if the surgery is gonna cause a lot of deformity or morbidity. What we think happens with these tumors is that if you do surgery, the wound healing can stimulate the growth of the tumor and, and so recurrence rates are high. And that's why folks have adopted this wait and watch policy. There's a new class of drugs that have come out called gamma secretase inhibitors. And uh, the, the drug uh, that's farthest along in development is called nirogastat. And in early studies in adults that has shown benefit in desmoid tumors. And recently this summer, um, the randomized phase three study in adults was completed and we're awaiting the analysis and results of that. While that study was being developed, the company also reached out to the pediatric community and said that they would like to do a pediatric study. And so um, they engaged the children's oncology group and I serve as the chair of the phase two study um, in pediatrics with that drug. And I'm happy to report that we activated that study in September and um, have started enrollment of patients um, uh, already. And so we're excited to see how that benefits children.